Today's video is going to show you how to do a little bit of maintenance on your belt. Now when I say maintenance, I don't mean lubricating it or anything. And I can do that because I have the maintenance kit. Actually, you, sh you probably can get a free maintenance kit from Nordic Track if you just tell them that the, your treadmill seems to be off one side or it seems tight on one side or it's, it's not level, it's not in the center. Um, so let me go ahead and, oh, I thought I just turned it on. Let me turn on my treadmill. As you can see, once again, I'm doing, I have an X22i and it's getting turned on right now. <clears throat> All right, when I come back, it'll be on. Give me a second. All right, I'm back. So once you have it up and running, so the, the maintenance guide, or if you have the X22i or the X32i manual, and if not, there's a user manual that you can find online. Just go in the comments and ask me about it and I'll send you a link on how to get your user's manual um, electronically as a PDF file. But um, I really don't do anything. I just hit 40 and then I walk off. You can see how long it takes. I'm actually gonna let it run so you see how long it takes for this thing to go from level to 40% incline. So whenever you do any maintenance on the belt, the user's guide always recommends that you have this at 40% of an incline because then this will be up and it'll be readily available for you to access any of those those, um, there's actually holes there that you can go in there and with the tool, you can actually um, tighten it or loosen it. So the first thing that it tells you that you should have three to four inches of give on the belt. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm actually going to make this a little looser because this is just a little too tight for me. And this is, uh, I think this one's set. What I did was I actually utilized it says that if it's off-centered, the user's guide actually says to come here and to make micro adjustments on this. Um, there's an actual, um, how do I say? There's a tool that you can use to go in there and to make micro adjustments. But, um, so mine, I think is pretty centered. You see there and there it does. I mean, you can't tell, but it actually looks extremely centered. Just that the light is on. Let me turn the light off and see if that works. No, you can't see anything now. Well, let me put the flash on and see what happens. So with the flash on, there's the space on the right and there's the space on the left. So it's actually perfectly centered. Unfortunately, let me go ahead and turn the light back on and turn the flash off. So here's the thing that I, I'm, I can tell it's different. So if I come here and reach underneath, I don't know if you can tell, let me come to the side. Let me do it from the side. So tell me if you can see, there's about, a, I'd say there's about a good two to three inches of give there. Can you see that? Let me turn the flash on. Maybe you can see it better with the flash. Yep. There's about a good two to three inches of give, right? And if I come over here, well, you know what? Well... You know what? There is about two or three inches to give. Let me turn the flash off now. All right, one more time. See, it's super tight. I can tell the difference. It's really tight on this side. And then on this side, it's not tight at all. It's, it's actually very, it's not that it's loose. It's just, it gives. It's a nice give to it. A nice good two to three inches. Whereas here, yeah, it's very tight. So I'm going to loosen it right here. And let me show you how I loosen that. So with your Nordic track, you should have gotten two tools. These hexagon, these hex wrenches. You should have had a smaller one. And let's see if I can find the other one. Yeah. And then a blue one. So you should have a, a red one and a blue one. Oh, by the way, how you doing? I've gained some weight, disregard. Um, I'm gonna be doing some videos of me losing weight, hopefully chronicle my uh, journey to getting back to like 175. I'm about 200 right now. 
But anyway, so you should have gotten two of these tools, a red one and a blue one, and these hex, one of them is bigger than the other. And what it tells you to do is, it tells you to come here, let me put the flash on, and see those two screws? It tells you to go in there and loosen those screws. By loosening them, you'll actually be able to provide more uh, of a not so tight here. It, it won't stretch the belt so much. And the problem is, let me turn the flash off. It says that if you, if you have this too tight, it could actually damage the belt. And I, it almost looks like, if you see here, let me turn the flash back on. If you look here, the belt doesn't look so bad. I mean, it looks, I mean, I've had this for almost two years, I'd say. But over here, it looks like the belt just has a little wear and tear on the side. I don't know if you can see that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen it so that it's not so tight here. The problem is when I loosen it, it's going to veer either to the left or to the right. I'm not sure which one. So if it, if it veers, then I will go back and make micro adjustments back there on that one rather than here. All right. So let's see if I can do this. Uh, I told you to use which one, which is the bigger one. I think this one is. I'll turn the flash on. So when you look in there, you'll be able to see that there's a screw. Let's see if you can tell. Tell me if you could see a screw in there. Uh, let me look. There it is. So do you see? See if you can. See if I can focus on that one. Let me see if I can turn the flash off once I get the screw. So if I turn the flash off, you can't see anything. But with the flash on, you see that screw in there? Yep. There it is. There's the screw. Yep. My apologies. There it is right there. It's not a screw. It's like a hex. All right, so I'm going to go in there. I'll leave the flash on. And I'm going, if you go this way, clockwise, you tighten it. If you go counterclockwise, you loosen it. So I'm going to go in there and loosen it until, until it feels, let's see, you'll know when you get it. And you're supposed to do this with this unplug. So I, I should have an unplug. So I'm going to turn it. It says to do minute, no more than half. So I'm going to turn a half to the left. Okay, I'll leave it in there, and I'm going to feel this, see how this feels. Turn the flash off. Yeah, it still feels really tight. So I'm going to do another turn to the left. Yep, and then feel it again. Yeah, still tight. I'm going to do a full turn to the left. Oh, a little looser. Another full turn to the left. Wow, this thing's going to be way off when I turn it on. Yes, much better, much better. So let me look on the side here. I hope you guys are getting something out of this video. All right. Nice feel right there, about three to four inches. And then over here. Yes, much better. Oh, yes, I could tell the difference. Yep. Three to four inches and three to four inches. Actually, this one feels even better than this one. I might tighten it up a little bit. Yep, so I loosened it too much. So to tighten it, you go back. I'll go back like maybe a whole full turn and try this. Let's see. Yep, and yep. All right, so that actually feels about three or four inches. And then three to four inches. Yep. Cool, now here's the problem. When I start running it, if the belt starts going to the left or the right, then I'm gonna have to stop and then make micro adjustments here. So let's see what happens. Start the belt. I'll just hit start. 
and hopefully it'll start going at one mile per hour. Yep. Oh, I completely forgot it might. All right, so now watch this. I'm gonna put the light on for this. If it starts adjusting to one side, I have to make micro adjustments back here. Because the only time you should be moving it up there. So as you can tell, you see it seems to be moving to the left. Yep. Look at the space on the right, how big it is. And then look at the space on the left. So it's already moved to the left. So I'm going to have to make some corrections. So the belt is tightened correctly. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to make some corrections to move it back. And there are some instructions on how to center your belt but as you can tell if you see it is way not way to the left but it has gone to the left somewhat if you look at that i'm looking at it straight from i'm gonna see if i can put this camera yep the lens is right above it and now look i'm gonna put the lens right above it here oh, wow what a difference so now i'm gonna pause this video and then i'm gonna come back here and make some micro adjustments back here all right all right, so it says that if it's, it says if the belt has shifted to the left, which I'm assuming it's talking about if you're looking at it from this way. And as you can tell, I mean, it is way over to the left. And look at the right. Yes. So it says if it's, if it's off-centered and it's shifted to the left, which it has, you, and again, you don't want to look at it from this side, from the side when you're standing on it. It says to come here. To the left side and so when I think and when it says left side it's talking about the left side on this side and it says you should power it off I'm just gonna do it this way because I can see an immediate change so it says to come here and do a half turn clockwise so I will do that I'm gonna do a half turn clockwise and I'm gonna watch <clears throat> to see if, if there's any difference do you see it moving over at all I mean you should be able to see excuse how dirty it is I have the so I didn't see anything. Let's try it again. I'm gonna do it for another half. Tell me if you see, if anything, it's moved to the right. Would you agree? Yes, yeah, so let me go back. I'm gonna go back a full turn and see if it looks like it went to the left at all. I'm gonna do another full turn to the left and see if it has gone to the left at all. Hmm. Doesn't seem to have. Do another full turn to the left. Do you see any sort of change? I'll give it some time and turn the light off. No, it's better with the light on. All right, I could see that it has gone to the left somewhat. So this loosens it. Now it says you should only be messing around with this one. But if you're only messing around with this one, it's going to loosen the belt here. And it's, and as you can tell, it still needs to go. So if you loosen here and then tighten here, it should be the same effect. And I know it says not to do this with it powered on, and, but I'm going to come back here because if you recall, I loosened, go back, I loosened this in order to get this. So I'm going to tighten it here. And if I, no, I think I'm going to, I need to loosen it here as well. See, now I'm not sure. If I loosen it there and then tighten it here, yep, so I'm going to tighten it here. I'm going to go tight, uh, one, two, a full turn and let's see if, if you see it going to the left at all. Give it some time to... Hmm, it looks like it gone... If, with a full turn here, it may have moved a little bit. Let me see right here. Oh, okay, it's getting a little bit better. I'm going to loosen this one one more half. I don't want to loosen it too much. But, and again, I'm doing this with the power on, but it going on. It says not to do it. It says to turn it off at a 40 degree angle and, un and unplug the plug, which I have it plugged. But how else are you gonna see what, what are you doing? So I think I still need to come over to the left a little bit more, so I'm going to loosen this, or tighten, I'm gonna tighten this. Yep. 
Was it tightened or loosened? No, I don't know. So I'm going to tighten this one half more and see what happens. I see now I'm not sure if it was tightened or loosened. So I'm going to tighten it three turns, three half turns. See if it, if it moves over or if it stays there. I'm going to tighten it twice. Can't tell now. It's moving over. Look here. Yeah, it looks like it's gotten closer. No, I'm not sure. Let me loosen it. One half, two half, three halves, and four halves. And when I say half, I'm doing this. That's a half, okay? That's tighten the half, that's loosen the half. No, I'm not sure. I think when I tighten it, it goes to the right. Yep, so now that I've loosened it, what's it doing? Let's see. Okay, it looks... I'm sorry that I'm running this, but I just wanna make sure I've got this right. I'm gonna pause this when I got it finally right, okay? All right, I'm gonna come around and we can look at it from this side. That looks good. And that's still, this side has more space than that side. I don't know if you can tell. Just ever so slightly, and as I move up, let me see if I could zoom in. So you can see how much space is there. It's about midway through. Without moving this, and then let's come on this side and we'll look how much space we have there. It's not as light, but I can measure it. I have the grid marks on my camera. You can't see them. It's about there, and then there. So it's very close. I'm trying to light off so you can see the same. And then here. And I'm sorry that you're having to suffer through this. I think it's okay. One more time. Put the light on. Yep. Yeah. If, if it was up to me, I'd move it this way. Just a touch. I like to look at it here. And I like to look at it here. That looks about right. Let me come around this way. There, and there. Oh, you know what? Looks like it moved over a little bit more on this side than on that side. So I think I can tighten this. I'm gonna tighten this one full round. That's half, and then that's a full. Let's watch this. Again, you can't see this if the thing is powered off. Like Nordic Track, I think Nordic Track tells you to power it off and then leave it off because it doesn't want you to hurt yourself, obviously. They don't want, oh, my battery has gone down to 15%, so no more flash. But anyway, I think you get the point. I think now it's good to go. Can I do flash or not? No, I can't do flash, because my battery's dead. All right, so I think you're good to go, and I think you get the gist of this video. Hopefully it's not too long. I think it's perfectly centered there. And perfectly centered there <clears throat> and then when you come here let's see there and there so what I'll probably do is I'm probably going to move it over a little bit that way from back here because if I look here there it is there and there it is there so I can't you can't tell without the flashlight on Actually, you know what? I have an actual flashlight in my pocket here, so we can use that. It's not that bright, but... Okay, here we go. So you can tell back here how much space there is. And then if you come here, it's much less. So what I'm probably going to do is, even though it doesn't tell me, I'm probably going to come in here and make a slight adjustment. And once again, when you tighten it, it goes that way. When you loosen it, it goes that way. So if I tighten this by turning clockwise, this will turn, it will go to the right. 
if I tighten this, again, it's gonna go to the left because it's gonna change. So I always, on the left, tighten, it goes to the right. On the right, tighten, it goes to the left. So I wanna loosen it here, it goes to the right. I wanna loosen it here, it goes to the left. So when you loosen it in the back, it will go the opposite way. No, I'm sorry, when you loosen it, yep, it goes the opposite way. If you loosen it on this side, it goes that way. If you loosen it on this side, it goes that way. If you tighten it on this side, it comes to the left. If you tighten it on this side, it comes to the right. So just remember that tighten it, it goes your way. Loosen it, it goes the other way. Now let's see if that's the same here. <sighs> that's why I leave it on. Let's see. Mm -hmm. This looks fine right here. Yep. So if I, let me see if I got this right. Over here, it's totally different. If over here, if you tighten it, it goes that way. Yeah, I guess that's the same. And if you loosen it, it goes this way. So I guess that's the same. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm confused. If you tighten it here, it goes that way. And if you loosen it, it goes this way. So you know what? You guys can play with it. Now you know. And I hope I didn't confuse you. You know that. Uh, the And again, get the user's manual and then read it thoroughly. And I think for me, have it on as you make these adjustments. And the micro adjustment may not show you anything. So you might want to make some macro adjustments, like maybe turn it two times around, you know, one, two, uh, one, two, and then watch it with the belt on. I think that's better, as long as you don't have anybody on it. And then you could do the same from back there. The main thing is that one back there changes the adjustments on the back of the belt, and then the front changes the adjustment on the front of the belt. And here's the problem. Nordic Track on the user manual tells you to make the adjustments just from here. And I'm sorry, I know I'm taking this video is going much longer than I should. It tells you to make the adjustments from here. But if you go to some of their online help, Nordic Track sends you to YouTube videos from other vendors that tell you to make the adjustments from back there. So, you know, uh, the, the best thing to do is, um, for me, if you're centering it, it doesn't matter if you're doing it from here or here or from there or there, just make micro adjustments until you get it just right. And you'll know, you'll feel it. What I would do is I would just make sure that whatever you do, that you make note of it so you can go back the other way. So as long as you know exactly what you're doing, it doesn't matter if you're doing it from there, from there, from here, or from here. But I can tell you that the user's guide tells you that whenever you're making slight adjustments to loosen the belt, it tells you to do that from here and here, exactly the same. The reason I didn't do it from exactly the same is because one, this was too tight and that wasn't. That's why I just did it from here. To loosen it, you go counterclockwise. To tighten it, you go this way. All right, and then if you want to center it, it tells you to come just on either one of these. The user's manual tells you to, to come right here and then just to make micro adjustments on here. If you go to the right, the tighten, it, this will go this way. If you go and you, I'm sorry, if you tighten it, it'll go that way. If you loosen it, which is counterclockwise, it will come back this way, all right? So I hope I didn't confuse you guys. Again, don't take my word for it. If you have to center it, put it at a 40 degree angle, have it running at one mile per hour, and then from here, it tells you to do micro adjustments. And then you'll see, you can tell which way this is going, left or right. Again, if you tighten it, it's gonna go that way. If you loosen it, which is counterclockwise, it's going to come this way. That's my take on it. Go ahead and do what you have to do, and. Hopefully I didn't waste uh, 30 minutes of your time. But anyway, good luck with your treadmill. And if you have any questions, let me know. Leave your comments down below. If you think this information was good, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if, you'd like to hear, if you'd like to see some more information on the treadmill, you can contact me. And uh, if you subscribe and hit the, the bell or the button, or I think it's a bell, then you'll know anytime I put out a, um, another video. I'm not going to limit my videos just to the Nordic Track X22i. You probably will see some videos in the future um, with me talking about trying to lose some weight and get back in shape. I'll probably be talking about maybe my Rubik's Cube because I love Rubik's Cubes. Um, my, my goal is to do one in under 20 seconds. Right now, 
I average 30 seconds. Those last 10 seconds are a killer. And I might do some videos on uh, some of the medications I'm taking. I take Provigil, which is uh, in some circles, it's a smart drug. The movie Limitless with Bradley Cooper was, uh, was based off of the drugs that I take right now. And it's all legal. I take it for sleep apnea. All right, guys. You have a good one. I think I've gone on and on. Now you know how to mess with this if you want. And again, the main thing is the user guy says to do it from up there. You could do it from down here if you happen to see the YouTube video that tells you to do it from here. But again, most of my uh, adjustments are from up there. All right, guys. You have a good one. Stay safe.